Kids friends, it is so good to be with you again. My name is Miss Carrie, and I missed you all last week, but I hope you had a wonderful time celebrating Easter with your family and that Jesus is alive. What a wonderful news for us. Now, before we get started, did you notice that we have a brand new theme? Fly a kite. There are so many fun things about spring. It's getting warmer outside. Maybe you've been able to spend some time outside. The flowers are blooming. Even Ollie's got a kite ready to go because that can be a really fun thing to do in the springtime. Now I'm gonna tell you a little bit more about our theme in just a minute, but do you remember there's two things we do before we get started. First, is your family in the room? Tell them Journey Kids is about to start. We want to do this together. And second, we need to get our supplies for the day. Now today, you will need a laundry basket or if you have other baskets that will work too, and some stuffed animals or dolls. You can just gather a few things. And if you happen to have a blue blanket or a blue towel or sheet, you can grab that too. Okay, so I'm going to give you a minute to gather those things and then we'll get started. job getting your supplies friends you can just put those things to the side and we'll use them a little bit later now I have this new theme fly a kite which remember we talked about it being springtime but the other reason that we're doing this theme is because it has a little bit to do with the new memory verse we're gonna learn that talks about the love of Jesus and how wide and long and deep and high the love of Jesus is just like a kite flies high in the sky. So you're going to get to learn that new verse today. So be sure to listen up when we get to that part. Okay? Now, oh, did you notice that Ollie has his breakfast here? By the way, what do you guys like to eat for breakfast? Did you already eat breakfast this morning? What did you eat? Mmm, those sound good. Now, Ollie maybe wanted some worms, but I didn't have any worms. Owls do like those. So we have cereal instead, but he likes that too. In just a little bit, we're going to hear about a Bible story about someone special who had breakfast with his friends on a beach. But before we get to that, Miss Nahana has a fun activity for us, so listen up. Good morning, boys and girls. It's Miss Nahana. And you know what? I hope that you had a wonderful Easter celebrating that Christ is risen. I certainly did with my family. Now, I have a question for you. Have you ever visited a beach, whether it's by the ocean or lake? Did you happen to have a meal there, like lunch or maybe even breakfast on the beach? Well, you know what? In today's Bible story, we're going to hear about someone special, guess who it is, who helped get his friends from the boat to the shore, and then they had a breakfast picnic together. So cool. Well, do you want to play pretend with me? Well, if you haven't already, go ahead and grab a basket a laundry basket or whatever basket you have lying around, some stuffed animals or dolls, and if possible, 
a blue blanket sheet or a towel. And then spread out your blanket and we're going to pretend it's the ocean or sea. And then place your stuffed animals in your basket and we're going to pretend the basket is a boat. And then I want you to push your basket around, your boat around, and take them to the shore, to the edge of your blanket, and then take them out. And then they can have a breakfast picnic together. Now check out what Job does, but be sure to listen up for the Bible story, and then I will see you next week. Bye, friends. Well, I bet that was a lot of fun. Now, it's almost time for our story time. Do you remember that there are three things that we do each week as we get ready? Can you say them with me? First, we're going to worship God. This is when we sing and dance and clap. And next, we will hear our Bible story. This is when you get quiet and listen. And last, we will say our memory verse. And remember, we're going to start learning a brand new verse today. So, say it again. We're going to worship God, hear our Bible story, and say our memory verse. All right, friends, everybody up on your feet, and let's worship Jesus together. God loves us and he gave his only son he is awesome Jesus nothing can stop him he's too strong yeah we sing it Jesus is alive he's alive oh yeah everybody celebrate Jesus is alive he's alive oh yeah he can do 
Jesus. So he gave his only son. He is awesome, Jesus. Nothing can stop him. He's too strong. Now we sing it. Jesus is alive. He's alive. Oh yeah. Everybody celebrate. Jesus is alive. He's alive. Oh yeah. He can do anything. Because he's bigger. Because he's stronger. Because he's greater than anything ever. Because he's bigger. Because he's stronger. Because he's greater than anything ever. So spin around and sing it. Dance around and shout it. Jesus is alive. Jesus is alive. So spin around and sing it. Dance around and shout it. Jesus is alive. Jesus is alive. Jesus is alive. He's alive. Oh yeah. Everybody celebrate.
Hello friends, welcome to the clubhouse. It's me, Kai, and I'm so excited to see you today. This is going to be the best day ever. I have a brand new kite, just like my friend Zoe. We're going to meet some of our friends at the park today and fly kites together. I'm going to surprise them with a picnic. I packed all our favorite foods. I can just imagine how much fun it's going to be. I've got ham sandwiches. I like mine with mustard. I've got apple slices. Zoe likes the green ones the best. Oh, and I can't forget Miss Kathy's Sue sugar cookies. She always shares with us when she bakes. She's such a good friend. In juice boxes, because flying kites makes you thirsty. I can't wait to get to the park. It's the perfect day to fly a kite. Who? Who? It's Ollie! Hello there, Kai. Who? Who? Have a fun day plan, do you? Hi, Ollie. I sure do. Flying kites and having a picnic is going to be so much fun. I can hardly wait. Being with friends is fun. It's true. I have just the story for you. Just listen to this. Just follow me through. Who? Who? Follow me through. Follow me through. Who? Ollie's got a Bible story for me and you. <gasps> Hi, guys. I'm Aisha, and welcome to my cupcake food truck. Do you want to see my latest creation? <laughs> They're my banana chocolate chip breakfast cupcakes because sometimes you can't wait for dessert. But you didn't come here for that. You came for the story and guess what? It's about breakfast too. So if you're ready, on the count of three, yell, tell me a story. One, two, three, tell me a story. Today's true story from the Bible is about a breakfast that happened not long after Jesus came back. Do you remember why we celebrate Easter? It started out sad. Jesus died and was put in a tomb. But did he stay in there? No! <laughs> Jesus came back just like he said he would. It was such good news. Jesus is alive! <laughs> and one of the things he wanted to do was spend time with his friends. Now do this with me. <gasps> what do you think we're doing? Are we throwing a shoe? <laughs> no! What are we doing? <gasps> we're fishing! That's right! And that's what Jesus' friends were doing. They were in a boat fishing early in the morning when all of a sudden... <gasps> Look! <laughs> Who is that standing on the shore? Yes, it's Jesus! Jesus is alive! His friends were so excited to see him. Show me your excited face! <laughs> Good job! In fact, Peter was so excited that he jumped in the water to swim to Jesus. Let's pretend to swim to Jesus. Ready? <laughs> Very good! You can stop swimming now, we made it! And when they got to shore, Jesus was cooking breakfast. So they all sat and had breakfast with their best friend, Jesus. Jesus is alive! <laughs> he loved them so much and wanted to show them that he would always be their friend forever and ever. And do you know what? Jesus loves you so much and he wants to be your friend too, forever and ever. How awesome is that? Did you like the story? If you did, give it two thumbs up. Two thumbs up. <gasps> hey there, Ollie. Tell me, who wants to be your friend forever? Jesus wants to be my friend forever. Yes, it's true. Now let's hear it from you. Tell me, who wants to be your friend forever? Jesus wants to be my friend forever. That's the truth, friends. Better believe it. See you next time. Bye! So there's your story. It's all true. Jesus spent time with his friends on the beach. 
Jesus is the best friend of all. Ho, ho. Thanks, Ollie. Goodbye to you. Ho, ho. Wow, what a great story. Jesus wanted to spend time with his friends. Jesus is the best friend anyone could ever have. I think I got this story. Did you get it? If you did, say, got it. Get it? Got it! Good. I can't wait to hang out with my friends today, and I'm going to make sure and tell them all about how Jesus is the best friend ever. I'll see you guys next time. Bye! How wide and long and high and deep is the love of Christ, Ephesians 3.18. How wide and long and high and deep is the love of Christ, Ephesians 3.18. Wow, friends, what an amazing story we heard today. We saw Jesus' followers in the boat, and they saw Jesus for the first time after he had come out of the tomb and he was alive. His friends were so happy. This is what we celebrated last week on Easter. And so we see them get out of the boat and come to Jesus. And they were so excited to spend time with their friend. Now, what I want us to do is play a little game, okay? Now, I have here a picture of Jesus. I want you to pretend that Jesus is on the shore and we're going to come to him, okay? But we're gonna do it in some fun ways, all right? So first, what I need you to do is find a good starting spot. So back away from the screen, Okay, a little bit further. Maybe there's a grown-up that can help you figure out a good spot for you to start at each time. And then I'm gonna tell you how I want you to come to Jesus, okay? But don't touch the screen. Just come, get you know a little close to it. Don't touch it. And then we'll go back to our starting point and we'll do, we'll do it again, okay? So here we go. So Jesus is on the shore, so come to Jesus. I want you to walk to Jesus. Oh, good job, friends. Good job not touching the screen. All right, we're back to your starting point. All right, this time I want you to jump to Jesus. Can you jump? Oh, those are such high jumps. Keep going. Good job, excellent. All right, back to your starting spot. This time, I want you to come to Jesus by marching. Can you march? There you go. Excellent. Come to Jesus. Oh, good job, friends. All right, back to the starting point. How about this time you dance to Jesus? Can you do some fun dance moves? But you got to keep making your way to the screen. Come to Jesus. Oh, good job, friends. All right. Kind of back up a little bit from the screen. We can always come to Jesus, right? And do you know what we're learning this month? Who wants to be your friend forever? Jesus, that's right. Jesus wants to be my friend forever. Wants to be your friend forever. Such, such good news. All right, friends, but before we go, I want to pray for us, all right? So if you can, kind of settle yourself back down, and we're going to close our eyes and fold our hands. These things just help us to focus on God, okay? Can you pray with me? Dear God, thank you so much, God, for who you are. God, we thank you for Easter. We thank you that we get to celebrate that Jesus is alive and that he wants to be our friend forever. 
God, I pray for my friends this week that you would help them to remember that and to remember how high and wide and long and deep the love of Jesus is. You love us so, so much, and we are so grateful. We pray in his name. Amen. All right, friends. Well, it's been so good to be with you this week. I'm so excited to see you again next week. I hope you have a fantastic week, maybe enjoying some fun things outside as we get this nice warm weather. Um, maybe you can even fly a kite. All right, so until next time. Bye-bye, friends. <laughs>